Michael, I guess coming back to Tion 2000, uh, bring back some good memories. Yeah, certainly. Uh, it is definitely a great race uh, for me. Uh, it was a hard day, uh, an ugly day, wet, uh, wet like today, but a lot colder. And uh, I'm proud of that one just because uh, a lot of uh, around the dinner table, um, you, you often get referenced uh, this stage just because it was such an, a hard day. And a lot of guys talk about how cold it was, how awful it was, how it was one of the coldest days they've had in the bike. And then I get to say at the end of it that I, that I won that stage. So it's, so it's nice. You're a bit back at the, G at the GC classification. Do you feel in shape? To go win again, yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, uh, I'm at the tail end of uh, a big block of racing, and uh, I'm excited for uh, some rest after this race. But uh, no, I still feel like I have good legs for today, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. The fact we had the TT before the this Queen stage make that we have some bigger gaps at the GC than what we had, for example, two years ago. Now we'll open an, another kind of race today, you think, with more opportunities for... Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it opens up some opportunities for uh, guys like me who are further back down. And uh, uh, I think also there will be some fatigue in a lot of guys' legs from the effort yesterday. And what can you tell us about the climb itself, Chion de Ville? Yeah, it's a challenging climb. Uh, not super hard at the start. The first uh, 10K is pretty gradual, but then it kicks up... Uh, with about eight, seven to eight kilometers left, and uh, uh, it's a long one. It, uh, it's a tough one. You have to pace yourself uh, both physically and mentally, and uh, hope uh, that you have legs for that finish. Thank you very much. Best of luck.